I have been wanting to do this video since I learned the information that I'm going to share. It basically is about the lens structure of smart glasses. And what I like to do, my personal thing, is when I find something out that I didn't know or it didn't work the way I thought it worked, I think other people don't know it works that way. So I like to share that information. And so with this, I think this, and I'm using the upgraded uh, blade smart glasses from View6. And I think everybody basically knows that, you know, inside the walls here are batteries and, and a computer. Phone does some of the heavy lifting. Um, and there's a projector and a camera here. But what I don't think a lot of people know is that most of the, well, the, probably some of the most complicated technology is in the lenses. So that's what I want to explain today. It's the, it's the waveguides. It's what makes uh, the image appear out in front of you. And it works differently than I think a lot of people think. And, and by knowing how it works, you actually can start to understand why certain things happen with smart glasses uh, that you might not have understood in, in, the, in the past. Like anyone, when I first started this, I thought the projector was just projecting onto the one side of the glass very close to the person's eye, like in this with this projector on the wall here, the wall simulates the, the glasses. I thought it's basically just a computer and the display displays onto the wall there, but they can't do that. They can't do that for a number of reasons. And that's where I'm going to get into the whiteboard. Hi, whiteboard. Okay. First thing I'm going to explain is why we can't just project onto the back of a lens. So, let's say the lens is here top view and then and this is an eyeball and this is the projected image and that's the the eye box first problem with this is is this distance between the eye and the image is very small, very hard to focus. So um, from the side, it would look like eyeball, lens, and the image here that's projected onto it. So the, what, this is where it's kind of cool, how it gets into how light works. So the light, your eye knows that this is close because um, say there's a light source that's here here and it's giving off rays the rays come in at not parallel parallel means your light is coming from infinity and your eyes know well that's far away that's that, 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 that it's had time to come straighten out but anything that's has the light rays coming in at an angle your, your eyes have trouble um, refocusing it and conforming it back onto your um, in the back of your eyes to focus properly. And that's why the older you get, the harder it is to do, uh, you know, you have to, you have to wear readers over eyes over forties has a harder time, you know, bending that light back to be able to see things close up, close reading or anything like that. It knows it's close. You won't be able to focus on it. It's a mess. So that brings us to how it actually works. And so we'll bring a lens like this and a lens like this and we'll have the projector here still and the next generation smart glasses are going to have two projectors and they're going to sync up and that's going to create uh, pretty awesome uh, imagery uh, as opposed to just having one like we have here on the on the blade it's not bad but it's it's a little bit more flexible so this is corresponding with this um, light. And you can see some surface grading, it's, it's called. You can see kind of uh, a little bit of color that you know something's going on there. And uh, I'll explain what those are. So what you have there is you have an input grading that receives the the projection light and then I think 
you know, it's kind of, you know, don't, don't quote me on this, but there is a fold grating, and then there is the output grating. So those are the structures that you can see when you look into very closely into the smart glasses. And uh, it's really cool the way they etch these into the glass. And, and as I said, when you learn about this, you're gonna learn why certain things are done a certain way. This is why you can't at this point, and I know there's a lot smarter people than me thinking about this. Um, it, it's not easy to have prescription smart glasses. Uh, because this process alone uh, is very high tolerant for, you know, flatness. And it's just got to be, they got to work with this glass to put these special um, surface gratings in there. So that, uh, I mean, you're dealing with uh, light and you'll see. So any mess up or mistake or anything will, the output will be out of focus and it'll be unusable. So the cool thing here is, so the projector beams into the input gratings, which then goes in the fold and they all refract. And this is way beyond, you know, you know, my understanding, but I do know that it's bouncing around in there. And then when it comes up to the output grating, it's actually coming out into your eyeball as parallel or infinite the light's coming from infinite. So they've changed it so that your eyeball thinks it's at a distance. Whatever you're seeing, it's far away. So if you're nearsighted and, uh, and I wear contacts and so I'm farsighted, I can put on these glasses, even though it's right in front of my eye, my eye thinks it's far away, thinks it's out in front of me and I can, it's perfectly focused for me with my contacts in. Um, and I don't know if I'm nearsighted, I don't know, but I'm assuming it would be a little bit um, out of focus because it is, you know, tricking your eyeball into thinking that this is out way out in front of, uh, of the user and I can look at it and, and be perfectly in focus. So that's one of the coolest things there. And that's also a reason why, you know, this whole um, thing is a reason why, you know, the sunglasses are a difficult issue. Um, Again, like I said, prescription is a difficult issue um, that I'm sure if they can figure this out, uh, they can figure that out. But this is uh, one of the coolest things that I've seen as far as how complicated it is. And I went to the plant and I saw them making all these things and the, the precision that they make these with is, is absolutely uh, mind bending. And then they're going to have another one over here and it's going to match up um, and it's going to be. Uh, really exciting to, to see the way those work. So this is, in my mind, some of the coolest things that are out there. And I didn't know that I'd be so impressed with the actual glass as opposed to, you know, the tech that's inside it with the, with the cameras and the, the chips and batteries and all the, uh, the Bluetooth and everything connected to your phone and all that stuff. I found that I'm still want to learn more about how the images get out there. Uh, because one of the other big things is it's why it's transparent. So if you were just blasting, you know, um, an image onto the thing, you couldn't see through it. Uh, by moving it, you're able to move it around the glass and the, in the eye box, and you're able to see through it. So you can do transparent AR type stuff and it can be there and you can um, still see through it like a heads up display. So I think waveguides is one of the coolest, coolest parts of, of all smart glasses. Um, and uh, hopefully with this new setup, uh, you kind of learned a little bit more about how it gets the image from the processor out the projector into the lens and into your eye. So I hope that helped. Uh, I know it helped me still learning about it, but I wanted to get that out there so that you could uh, know a little bit more about how these things work. So uh, let me know if you like learning that stuff and then I'll keep uh, making these things. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Uh, it's uh, really, really fun making these and uh, I enjoy it 
hearing feedback. If this helped, if it didn't help, if you want to see something else, let me know. Thank you.